Well, earlier today, I posted a video about my Reese and Muller electric bike that I'd recently purchased. Um, I tried to be as honest about my reaction to it as I could, and somebody uh, a little while ago made a really good comment on the uh, video, and it was along the lines of sort of regrets that you get after you buy something. Now, I replied to it, and my reply is on the video, but in essence, what I was uh, trying to get across in my reply was that, in actual fact, I didn't have uh, specific regrets about the purchase of that particular bike, and as far as uh, my purchases are concerned, my expectations are as realistic as I think I could have them, and I do buy quite a lot of things. Uh, the things that I, I actually talk about in my videos are mainly cars, and of course they are, uh, they're not always what you uh, expect them to be, but that's something that happens with time. Um, most of the cars that I've had actually have been better than I had imagined. As far as other products are concerned, I buy a lot of cameras. Um, and frankly, they're pretty much as I would expect. Now, so the three, three items there, cameras, cars, and electric bikes. Now, when it, when it comes to the cameras, um, as I say, they are more or less, I find, what I expected them to be. And what changes my mind with them, or, you know, in favor or against over time, is the, um, the ease of use and how I can become acclimatized to the camera and the controls and everything else. And some I take to a lot better than others. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that is really, the performance is as I expected. It's just the, uh, the handling of the camera. As far as the bikes are concerned, they're far more straightforward. Um, I, I mean, I kind of know what to expect with the electric bikes. I mean, the ones with the throttles, I know what the uh, motor uh, size is, uh, power-wise, and so on. Um, I knew what I was getting into as far as the pedal electric was concerned. Uh, I'd ridden my wife's bike, and this, uh, in terms of power, is basically the same. So, but I wanted, on that particular bike, I did want the... Um, the cruising ability and the, the fact that I could go a long distance. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. And a bike that would last, and also a bike that would have uh, continuity of um, the backup for the batteries and everything, which I don't feel I'm going to get with the uh, A to B Metro. Um, as far as cars are concerned, I think the biggest thing with cars with me that I find after I've bought them is the ability to get the car repaired and the amount of work and time and money that's involved in maintaining it, in keeping it on the road in the condition that I'd like to keep it, which is as near as perfect as I can get. So each of those has different things. But the ups and the downs of all of those products are actually part of the, um, to me, the thrill of having them. Uh, I really do. I, I sort of uh, dis voyage of discovery, which each, with all of those different products, and I revisit them because I've got a number of cars, a number of cameras, a number of electric bikes, and I tend to go from one to another, and I rediscover their good points and bad points. And sometimes I think that maybe I had the wrong opinion because I can compare one bike with another bike over the time and using them and I can compare one camera with another camera while I'm using them both, or many, and the same with cars. And that's quite an exciting journey, I, I find. <laughs> but 
uh, I try to explain that in the videos, but it's a bit difficult sometimes. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>